the Lav Lab. It's where we'll be testing out some of the best tech for your bathroom. Come on in, the water's warm. If you're someone who needs to use the bathroom in the middle of the night, you probably already have a nightlight there, but have you ever thought about putting the nightlight inside the toilet? Well, the people at Illuminable did. You might have seen this on Shark Tank, but if you haven't, it's a handy little attachment that runs on AAA batteries and lights up your toilet. Installation seems easy, but it takes a little finagling. Use those muscles to bend the Illumina bowl into a 90 degree angle to fit the rim of the toilet. Pro tip, make sure the rim is clean first, otherwise, gross. You hit the button on the side to turn it on. It will automatically rotate through colors, but if you're partial to your toilet being a demonic shade of red, just press the button when it reaches that color. You can hold down the button to change the brightness too, so it can look like the devil is just about to breach the inside of your porcelain throne. The Illumina Bowl only works in the dark when it detects movement. So, if you have a pet or a small child and you need to keep your lid closed, then this might not be great for your lifestyle. Otherwise, hit the lights and have yourself a toilet ray! Showers are always better with music, but which shower speaker can satisfy my shower diva dreams? So this little guy suctions to your shower wall. It's splash proof, but not fully waterproof. So if you're listening to it and then it falls into the tub, it might not end well. What is great about it is that its battery lasts two hours. It can skip tracks back and forth. It has an FM radio and it can take calls hands free. But is this the best shower speaker out there? I'm not really convinced. I've had suction cup speakers like this before, and the second the suction gives up on the wall and comes tumbling down on the porcelain, it's basically shot. If you happen to have textured walls like my apartment does, then you're kinda out of luck with the Memorex. I think we can do better. What about the UE World 2? It's a pretty sexy looking speaker, am I right? It's a little on the pricey side, but it could be worth it. It's waterproof up to three feet, but it also comes with its own adorable little float. I'm also really into the bungee hook design, super convenient. It has a really long wireless transmission range, over 90 feet. It isn't the dream to have a 90 by 90 foot bathroom. However, when it comes to this being a shower speaker, there are two really big cons for me. One, you can't control the playback from the device, only the volume. This is a big turnoff for somebody wanting to use this in the shower. Two. In order to use the device, you have to download the UE app. It takes up about 7.6 megabytes on my iPhone. And while that may not seem like a lot, if you have a phone or a tablet with a limited amount of space, it could be a make or break situation. I have a couple other UE speakers and I think they're great. However, because of those two big setbacks, I don't think the UE Roll 2 is the best speaker for singing in the shower. What about the Altec Lansing H2O? It's a pretty heavy duty option for the shower, but it's got the goods. Not only is it waterproof, but it's also dustproof, sandproof, shockproof, and snowproof. Granted, that doesn't really matter when it comes to bathing, but still good to know. The design is a little clunky. It's definitely intended for more all-terrain situations, but you can control the playback in the shower, which I think is crucial. And it can also take calls from the shower. I know. It can also float in water, so you don't need that silly float like the UE Roll does. So for me, this seems to be the best shower speaker out of the three I reviewed. Of course, I was not able to review every single kind of shower speaker out there. However, for the money and the features, I'm sticking with the Altec Lansing H2O as one of the best shower speakers out there. Stay soapy, my friends. If Kylie Jenner uses this whitening kit, then does it actually work? This is the High Smile Whitening Kit. It's basically a teeth whitening system for millennials. It comes in this neatly designed box and includes three gel syringes, a rubbery mouth tray, LED light attachment, very brief instructions, and a results guide. You use it for six days, which according to the High Smile website can get your chompers up to eight shades whiter. 
The mouthpiece is actually a lot heavier than anticipated. If you didn't have an industrial grade binky as a child, then it will likely be a weird experience the first time you use it. Oh, probably. It does get easier as the six days go by though. The timer sound from the light attachment is alarming and not cute. When I spoke to my dentist, Dr. Pasha, he said that light-enabled whitening is all about dehydration for the teeth. He said that the LED light helps make my teeth bone dry, which makes them look whiter. He also said that Kylie Jenner might have veneers, and the High Smile website specifically says that the product only works on natural teeth. What they don't make clear enough in the instructions is that you should not rinse off the LED light when cleaning the mouth tray. After I did that the first night, the battery compartment trapped the moisture and stopped the light from working. You can dry it out for a couple hours, but better to just avoid it. I started out as a 6 and ended as a 4 on the results guide. I think High Smile would be the most effective for people who have never used a whitening system before and started out on the farther end of the results guide. Otherwise, if you're looking for real results, I just give your dentist a call instead.